the Fox 44 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Well, another record high has fallen here in Waco. Again, topping out at 108 degrees, a new record high here in our area. These are also our current temperatures at this hour. It's 106 in Gatesville, 103 in Colleen, 104 right now in Temple. Hillsboro checks in at 108 degrees. You can see triple digits across the board. Today is the eighth straight day that it's been at least 100 degrees or hotter. Again, all in a row. And I'll tell you what, uh, we still have the month of August to go. So far this year, we've hit 100 degrees or hotter 21 times. And I'm going to tell you, that streak's going to continue right on through the week. And now the heat index, maybe a degree or two actually cooler. It's not really a wind chill, but it's a little bit cooler than our actual air temperature out there. That's because our dew points are rather comfortable out there in the region. We're talking 50s and low 60s right now across most areas. Now, the county burn ban, it is out there. You bet. We've got burn bans from Waco all the way over toward Brownwood, uh, down toward the Burnett area, and as you work your way over toward Mejia. Not recommending any outdoor burning. And that elevated fire weather, it's pretty high. Critical fire danger right along Interstate 35 into the west. Low humidity, stronger winds, and very dry brush. So again, doesn't take much to get a fire out of control in that region. Still looking at high pressure. Again, high pressure at the surface, high pressure aloft. It is stacked up here and Boy, oh boy, it's not letting anything through. All the showers and storms moving through the four corners are going up and over our area, over toward parts of Iowa, and then back down here over toward Alabama, Mississippi. Meanwhile, we can't buy a drop of rain right now in our region. So here's the forecast. As we go throughout the evening, mainly clear skies. Again, very warm conditions. By midnight, temperatures into the 80s. Overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, I think upper 70s to around 80 degrees. So I think this is a little bit too cool, but as we go throughout the day tomorrow, another record breaking day. Look at the temperatures climbing 109 degrees. That'll be the high here in Waco tomorrow. 108 Temple, 108 in Colleen over toward Gatesville. You'll see a high temperature tomorrow right at 106 degrees. Friday night, still very warm conditions across the region. Overnight Friday into early Saturday, we'll start the day with temperatures in the 70s to around 80 degrees. And once again, these temperatures will be climbing 108, 109 for high temperatures in the afternoon here on Saturday. Lots of triple digits. Brownwood could see highs by late in the day on Saturday, right around 109 degrees. As for tonight, Mostly clear skies, very warm this evening. We're going to be in the low 100s at least through about 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Eventually, we're going to cool down to about 80 degrees tomorrow morning. South winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, another record-breaking day. 109 degrees will be the high tomorrow here in Waco. The record, we're going to smash it. That is 104, set back in 2000. And then as we look ahead, I think we're still looking at record high temperatures on Saturday, Sunday, even on Monday. 109 on Saturday, 108 on Sunday, Monday at 109. And you can see the records there. They're going to be gone. They're going to be broken by these temperatures here. And then we're going to watch a front move through. And hey, good news, Leslie. We're going to be around 100 degrees with a chance of some rain there on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Nighttime lows, upper 70s to lower 80s. A little bit cooler down toward Bryan and College Station. Low 100s for the most part. There's our chances of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They're not high, but maybe some more clouds will keep those temperatures from getting a lot hotter than what we're seeing out there. Right, and I know 